So let us go to the book of, uh, give me Isaiah chapter, five, uh, chapter 45, verse 4. You know, I'm just going over these precepts to show you all who the Most High came for, who His chosen people are, you know? Because we have to listen, we have to realize this thing. He ain't came for everybody, He did not die for everybody. He have a special people unto Himself, and He have a special people what He has chosen, you know? So He's not here for everybody. He's not here for everybody. Yes, give me chapter 45, verse 4. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 4. Yep. For Jacob, my, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect. Who is he? Is elect? Israel, mine elect. Who? Israel, mine elect. So that's, that's loud right. and clear, loud and clear. Israel, my elect. So that is not everybody. So I don't know where these people get me come from. We ask them, yeah, but he's for iedereen gestorven. He's not for iedereen gestorven. It's just Israel only. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 4. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect, have I, have I even called thee by thy name? I have surnamed thee, thou hast not known me. See, thou has not known me. So Israel is his chosen, his elect. Israel is his chosen in, and his elect. Give me um, Jeremiah chapter 5 verse 1. Jeremiah chapter 5 verse 1. No, oh, chapter 1 verse 5. Sorry, sorry. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. Because he has chosen thee, Asia is his elect. So this, all these precepts that, I'm, that we are reading here, that I'm bringing out here today, they all linked up. Bro, 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 you're not in the crazy training spot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come here for no bro. Come here for life straight off. So give me that Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, verse 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Read that again. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Yeah. So before he formed you in the belly, so before he formed you in the womb of your mother, he knew who you were already. He had chosen thee already. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Before thou came out, before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. So he formed thee from out of the, before he formed you, he know you are ready. So we are Israel United in Christ, we are here to wake up the blacks, Hispanics and Native American Indians. So you so-called Surinamers, you so-called Antillians, Jamaicans, people from Aruba, Curacao, Brood. Yeah, you speak English? Dutch? Alles. Alles. Nee, is twee, is twee. Die mag je ook niet. Nee, die hoort erbij. Die hoort erbij, die hoort erbij. Wat is jouw afkomst? Ghanese. So you come from Ghana. Okay. Can you find, I will speak English to you because that's more easier for you. So can you find Ghana in the Bible? The, the name Ghana, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, all those West Coast African lands. Can you find those names of those lands in the Bible? No. Because you know why? Because the Most High, he didn't call you, named you Ghana, he named you Judah. This is your biblical name. Bring it up. You see, so when you see here, Isaiah chapter 11, verse 11, scattered throughout Africa and abroad. So our people are still in Africa, we have people abroad. You know, people, those, those people who are abroad is being carried on slave ships. So you call yourself Ghana, but the Most High called you Judah. So you are the 12th tribe of children of Israel. You understand? Hey, you, are, you know the story about Moses? Who did he free from under the hand of Pharaoh? You know because Moses, he freed a particular people. He didn't free everybody. Israelites, Israelites. Good, 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 my friend. So you are Israelite. Moses freed you. You understand? So the Most High didn't call you Ghana, Ghanais, or Nigerian. He called you Judah. 
12 tribes of Israel. But you know the state of how Ghana is, the country itself, it's, a little, it's on the poor side, it's poor. But is that written in the Bible? Can we find the state of why Nigeria is, uh, why Ghana is, is in the state that it is today? Can we find a reason for that in the Bible? Chapter 1, verse 1 first. Hey, give, me, give, me, give me just three minutes, bro. Three minutes of your time. Three minutes of your time. This is, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all of Israel. So these be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Why you speak those unto all Israel? Because they did just make the exodus out of Egypt. So they are dwelling now in the wilderness. So these be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Because you just say that yourself, Moses freed the Israelites out of Egypt. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. I'll give you a quick introduction. Then you can tell me that, hey, what is it now? Do you understand that? Does it also belong to the children of Ghana? This, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. So, because of this verse, when you hear this verse, this is the reason why Ghana is in the state it is today. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses is prophesying unto the children of Israel. He told them, it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. The voice of the Lord's statutes and commandments that we are reading now. That's the voice of the Lord. To, to observe, to do all his commandments and statutes which I've commanded thee this day, that all these curses shall, co shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, because you don't, you, it shall come to pass if you do not hearken, listen unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe his law, statutes, commandments, all these curses shall come upon us and overtake us. Now I'm going to go to verse 32. I'm going to read a curse. And you tell me if this happened to the children. This, listen to this one, bro. Listen to this one, bro. This one, just listen. This is an identification so you can know that the Bible is talking about you. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 32. Yes. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So thy sons and daughters shall be given unto another people. Weren't the children, the sons of Ghana, sons and daughters of Ghana, given unto another people? Look here, bro. What's this? Oh, it's a, of course it's a poster, but what's on the poster? What's the details on the poster? But what the pictures tell you? What you seen on the pictures? You see slavery, etc., etc. Didn't this happen to the children of Ghana? Okay, weren't the sons and daughters of Ghana given unto another people, unto the Dutch, the English, the French, etc., Portuguese, etc.? When they came to Ghana, did they come to shake your hand? Or did they, did they come to carry, put you on slave ships? Okay, go to verse 68. So, that part about the slave ship, what I'm talking about now, is that in the Bible? Is that in the Bible? Bro, I'm just asking you a question. You say that. The sons and daughters of Ghana being given unto another people, slavery. But they also went out on slave ships. Now I'm going to ask you the question, is that in the Bible? Do you think that it's in the Bible? Okay, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you. Because we are not speaking our own words, we're speaking everything about the Bible. From out of the Bible. So when I ask you a question, or if you ask me a question, my answer will be out of the scriptures, out of the Bible. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. You just said the children of Israel were in slavery in Egypt. So, actually I don't have to read to you what Egypt means because you know already that they was in slavery in Egypt. So the word Egypt means here bondage. Listen. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Wait, 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 bro. Wait, hold one, one more minute. Wait, bro. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way of I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. So the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Egypt means bondage, slavery. By the way of thou sh by the way of I spake unto thee, Thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. No, sold unto your friend. 
unto your enemies. Unto your neighbors. Unto your enemies. He sold unto your enemies. For born men. For what? For born men and born women. So for born men and born women. Sold unto your enemies. For born men and born women. And no man shall buy you. No man shall buy you. That means no man shall free you. You don't have a political might, the economical might. No man shall buy you. So you were sold unto your enemies. As soon as you got off of the slave ships, wherever they captured you and they carried you on the slave ships, say for instance, it was Suriname, the Caribbean, the Jamaica, South America, Brazil, you name it, even all the way to East, in all the way to the East, our people are also scattered. So there you shall be sold unto your enemies for born men and born women. For born men and born women. So that is already showing you that the Bible is speak, the Bible is only for Israel. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.